Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video about something that I just learned how to do recently. Um, it's called dynamic linking and it essentially allows you to make multiple iterations of the model you're working on and have your changes apply to them as you work. Um, for example, this means like, I'll just show you. If you select your object and you press Alt D and you drag it over, I forgot her hair. You press Alt D and you drag it over. Which one? If you go in, you can see that when you make an adjustment, it happens to the other model too. Now this is different than just Shift D, which just duplicates the model and doesn't have a change applied to your original. I'm gonna get rid of that one. So we've learned that Alt D um, is dynamic linking, which allows you to change things and have them work and apply it to your original model. This works with materials too. This way you can have a whole array of objects and they'll all change the same way. Um, the thing that I wanted to show you guys how to do was how to use dynamic linking, but preserve origin like preserve unique material data for each. As you can see, um, with all of these models, I've iterated them so that when I change the original, it happens to all three of them, but their material data is all different. So if I change this one's color data, the original doesn't change. And it took me a little while to learn how to do this. So let me show you how I do that. So with this model, which is our newly linked duplicate, you're going to notice that the colors will change and the original will change as well, and that's not what we want. So the way that you change that is you go to the material that you want to change, and right now they'll have the exact same name, so dress.001, and that's why they're changing together, because they're both named the same thing, they're both linked. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little tab where it says data, we're going to switch it to object, and you're going to notice that the data just kind of disappears, um, but when you press new, shadeless, and you change the diffuse, you can see that the color changes independently now. And you can kind of name this as something else, dress dot, I don't know, four, for instance, since this is my fourth model. And now, if you do this to everything else, say the coat, which right now is linked, if I go to data and object, new, and I change it to something else, the data will be completely different. And that's just a quick tutorial on dynamic linking. If there's anything else you guys want to know, I can try and research it. And thank you guys for watching.